Alrighty. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Liam. This is my hobby room. Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about a very special model kit from a very special show. I'm excited to be getting to this. And of course, I mean we are covering the Gundam Aerial today from Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. Look at that. Love the graphic design on these boxes. So good, so good. I built a few of these. Uh, I just haven't done videos on them yet, but they're all coming. In fact, the next like five videos are Witch from Mercury kits. Uh, I've been editing and filming them together, so that should help with my time management. I know these videos come out fewer and further between than I would like them to. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You understand me? Building this kit was a breeze. I really enjoy this entire line. Bandai really knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, it's such a concise model kit. It's beautiful. Uh, it's it's um, got a few hollow spaces. That's my only point against, but the whole line so far has a lot of hollow spaces. Ugh. Sorry, I just ate like half a roast chicken. Whew. So far, the entire Witch from Mercury line has a lot of hollow spaces. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, hollow spaces are very easy to fill. You just take some epoxy putty, jam it in there. Or you can use plastic card. You can just cut out your plastic card and jam it in there. Or you can use some UV resin to fill those gaps. Just jam it in there. This kit has been reviewed so much on YouTube. I'm not going to spend so much time talking about all its little uh, intricacies and its articulation and all that stuff uh, because I just don't really think it matters. Uh, the kit, the design of the kit is all that matters to me. And that's what we're talking about today. It's very nice. A lot of great lines. The Ariel hit such a high bar for mobile suit design. Uh, the IBO stuff I thought was interesting. Iron-Blooded Orphans, uh, the mobile suits were very interesting. I loved that Bandai pushed the boat out a little bit, but uh, they, they still, they didn't quite resonate with me. But this stuff, the stuff from Witch from Mercury, I genuinely really, really do like. It seems fresh, it seems functional as far as mecha go, <laughs> as functional as they can be. Oh, also, I got the Mirasol flight pack, the accessory pack for this one, uh, so that's, that's what you're seeing now. It came with two open hands uh, and the backpack there. You take the beam sabers off the pre-existing backpack, plug them into that bad boy, and then, then, then the aerials got, got a little backpack for flying around. Remember that one episode it was in use? <laughs> yeah, they made a whole kit for it. Anyways, uh, great pack, you can put it on other kits, doesn't really matter. Now right off the bat, there weren't too many seam lines. I can really only think of one that was like a big like, oh, what am I gonna do? Uh, and it's the, that's exactly how I sounded, by the way. Uh, it's the back of the thighs. Uh, and it's actually, you know, I didn't close them. I just rescribed them as a panel line. Uh, but looking at it, it actually would have been super easy to close. Uh, and I looked up on, on, on the old YouTube, just like, just like what you're watching now, uh, and there's a really concise video of how to remove, specifically how to remove the seam lines on the Gundam Ariel. So I'm gonna, I'll link that in the description down below, it's a great video. Uh, the only other ones were on the knee guards, those were easy enough, you just, I just closed the seam and then slid them on, um, on the, on the knee by cutting off the pegs. Uh, it's not a big deal, that's fairly easy to do. Here's the aerial before before I did any paint. Look at that. And here it is after all the paint. Ta-da! Look at that. And painting this kit, uh, painting this kit was a lot of fun. Uh, it, you know, the color scheme isn't too different. I tried to keep it really, really close to the source material. Sometimes my colors end up being a lot darker than they're supposed to. The same colors, just a little darker. I don't think I did that too much with the aerial, but uh, why don't I just show you? You wanna take a look? You wanna see, huh? Come on, I'll show you. Um, really cool. Obviously, great show. A lot of fun. Um, this mobile suit is is very nice. It's very nice. I can see why everyone was in a tizzy about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I just I I'm really looking forward to building all the other kits in this line. Uh, I did a little bit of weathering, as you can see. Um, I do that a lot uh, to hide my my crappy paint mistakes. But uh, <laughs> but I I think I kept it fairly tame. It's really easy to go overboard on weathering because it's so much fun. Did a little bit of acrylic chipping. Mostly though, I just used my brush and uh, freehanded the, a lot of the uh, the chipping on the edges of things. Uh, and I think it turned out okay. I, I really like it actually. I'm pretty pretty proud of this kit. The only thing, the only thing that I don't really like uh, are the uh, stickers on the um, shoulders. These little red kind of holographic stickers. They have a gradient to them and I think they look really cool. The problem is they come in three parts. So you've got like the part that's facing the front, the part that's on the top, and the, and the part that's on the back. And when you portion out a sticker like that, it just tends to peel along the edges. I don't really understand why it couldn't have just been one piece. Bandai is, seems fine with folding stickers on like every other kit that has stickers. Uh, and normally I don't even use the stickers, 
but the holographic part was so cool. You know what I should have done? I should have just masked it off and painted the gradient in myself with some metallic colors. I just don't really ever use metallic colors, so I don't really have any. That's my only gripe. Now I got some decals from Delpy Decal. I really like them. I've used them a lot. I know some people say decal. Trust me, it's just as weird for me when y'all say decal as to when you hear me say decal. <laughs> so because I don't really care, uh, I'm still gonna say decal. That's how we say it here. So in the before times, I got some stuff from Delby Deckel and they were, uh, the prints were a little bit blurry. Everything I've got since in the last like two years been super crisp. So uh, I haven't had any problems since. I don't know what, what that was, but uh, I've got a whole bunch of them for the Witch from Mercury line. Really excited to put them on. Uh, some of them are a bit overboard, but then again, I don't have to put all of them on. I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna try very hard to not go overboard on the, overboard. Overboard on the decker. I'm gonna try very hard to not go overboard on the decker. I hope you like the kit. I hope you like the show. I got this kit from BC Hobbies. You can check them out at bchobbies.com. Lots of model kits, lots of Wish for Mercury model kits, Gundam kits, Gunpla. <laughs> lots of hobby supplies, all the paint you can want, lots of great stuff. Check that link out in the description below. Get yourself something nice, it's a treat. You deserved it. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a nice subscribe down below. And uh, I'll give you a high five. You can high five the screen very gently so you don't break whatever device you're using. <laughs> Take care of one another, give your moms a hug, and I'll see you next time on Liam's Hobby Room. Love the kit. Love it. A plus. Ding. Great.